at least I know for a fact 10,000 plus. Um, I know he's probably touched more with his lawn service, lawn care, but I know for a fact I've touched over 10,000 uh, different lives. Yeah, so we came up with an idea. Um, our first tour was for the houseless community. And what we did was each day we find a houseless person and ask them what they would want for Christmas. You know, it was nothing crazy like a car or anything like that. Most people wanted uh, cell phones to get in contact with their family, gift cards, tents, clothing, and stuff like that. So the next four tours, we decided, um, you know, we do for children with disabilities, special needs, and those kind of life threatening illnesses. And uh, every state, we would visit one or two children and, you know, uplift them for Christmas. Um, hopefully, I have two more years of uh, working my current job, uh, which is a correction officer for since 99, 26 years, I believe, 25. Um, but I want to be able to do this full time uh, because it's needed. Um, we did this documentary because we want to show the world that uh, people are in need, you know, and we want to be there to uplift as many people as we can. So as soon as I get a chance to retire, hopefully I'll be able to get bigger, do bigger and more things across the country. And I also want to go, you know, across the world to different countries and visit little children that are in need and adults that are in need. Uh, I lost my mom in 2009. I uh, fell into that five-year depression period. Upon returning to work, I created an Instagram account where I saw Officer Tommy Norman, uh, Hip Hop Trooper, and Rodney Smith Jr. So I saw that Rodney was going to North Little Rock, Arkansas, and I reached out to him. And once he came to California, you know, I told him, you know, I was going through depression and I wanted to go on a 50-state tour with you. And ever since then, uh, you know, I haven't been depressed, and we've been on five tours across America. My name is Yuri Williams. I am. Uh, founder of a nonprofit called A Future Superhero and Friends.